Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to this channel. Welcome back to this channel. And today we are going to tackle question number 22 uh, on business data analytics. The question or the paper that was done in August 2024 sitting, the just concluded sitting. And question number 22 was dealing with the loan amortization, the loan amortization scheduler. So we'll read through so that we can tackle it. Manotuere has recently been thinking of buying his dream car a few years after joining Rafiki Sako. Having established a Mercedes E-Class vehicle will cost between 2.7 and 3 million. He approached the Sako for a loan of 2 million with the difference to come from the sale of his current car with a current market resale value of 1 million. The Sako confirmed that Manotuere qualifies for a loan and were willing to advance him a new loan under the following terms and conditions. So loan amount is 2 million. The period of a payment is five years. So the payment frequency is on a monthly basis. Annual interest rate is 11. Monthly repayment is 43.5. Additional information. The loan is to be repaid on a monthly basis. The first installment is due at the end of the first month after loan disbursement. Manotuere has approached you for advice as he does not understand how the repayment amount and the interest on loan are arrived at. So you are required number A, using appropriate MS, MS Excel function, confirm to Manotuere that indeed the monthly repayment amount of 43.45 is actually correct, is actually correct. So we first answer that first Roman, yeah, the Roman A, the first part of the required where you're using appro appropriate MS Excel function, we confirmed actually that 43.45 is actually correct. I will copy this part and I will paste it here. Yeah, that is our question, the loan amount, the period. So monthly, uh, the monthly period, or we call it just the number of period. Number of period. And for the number of period, we are looking at the number of period in months. So five years has got 60 months. Five years has got 60 months. That is per year we have 12 periods, 12 months by five, we get 60. Then monthly rate. We have monthly, monthly rate. Our monthly rate will be take this and you divide by 12. You'll get this, yeah, the rate per month. So that we find what we call the PMT, the payment, the PMT. This is what we shall use as a formula to confirm the PMT. So PMT, we need the rate. This is the rate per month. The number of period is 60. And the PV. So the present value is the initial amount of the loan. And we normally use it as a negative so that we get it as a positive. When you don't include a negative, it will return a negative value because it is assuming it's a payment of which is what we are paying. So we shall have this 43.485. Actually, 43.485 is the correct value that they're supposed to be making the payment. We are just only to confirm that. And this is the correct value. And it's not a must to indicate that it is correct because we're just confirming that it is actually the correct amount. Then the second part is where we are supposed to prepare the loan. The loan amortization, huh? yeah, prepare monthly loan amortization schedule for the above loan for Manotuere to see how the loan clears by the end of five years. Half columns for period, monthly repayment, principal, interest, and loan balance. So we have uh, Manotuere. So Manotuere, loan amortization. Loan amortization loan amortization schedule and not to error loan amortization schedule so we'll convert this to number to eliminate the currency yeah that way so we shall have our period our period then our monthly installment monthly installment this is a pmt installment or monthly repayment monthly repayment 
then the interest, the principal, principal, and the loan balance. The loan balance. Yeah, that way. So that is our chart. We normally start from zero, then one, zero, one. And you can decide now to populate, huh? or you can decide to use a series where you will right click here, one, uh, uh, one box or one cell down, and then come back and you release to give you the series. For the series, we're using the column. The step value, we need a change of one, one, up to 60 months. Huh? Up to 60 months, and you put OK, and it will take you up to month 60. Up to month 60. Yeah, up to month 60. That way. So this one, I'll take it no fill or no border. Yeah, that way up to month 60. And our PMT at month at the end of month one, we have this and we shall lock this using a pop and we populate this. Just double click and we'll have populated that amount to month 60. Then the interest. Uh, so before the interest, our loan balance. Uh, Loan balance was 2 million. That way, the interest you're calculating on this loan balance at this particular rate, which we shall lock. Our monthly rate is constant. The principal, we take the monthly repayment, which we shall lock, it's a constant minus the interest. We find that we are paying a monthly principal of 25, 25 as our principal. Therefore, the loan balance. We take this minus the principal. Note that it's only the principal that reduces the value of the loan. Only the principal that reduces the value of the loan. And now you can highlight this and we auto populate here. Auto populate because already you have done the proper locking and you should get a value of zero by the end of the day. You should get a value of zero by the end of the day. So that is our loan. Loan amortization schedule, the loan amortization schedule. So this one we can put merge and center. Yeah, that's our loan amortization schedule. And it was giving you good marks, 12 marks to prepare that loan amortization schedule. So that now we look at the other, the other part, part next, part C of the question, part C of the question. So for part C, it reads that a customer, as a customer centric circle, uh, so for part C, there was this table, let me copy the table, the way it is first, the table, and I paste the table here. So as a customer centric circle, the circle members are allowed to vary the loan terms to their preference as long as it is aligned to the loan terms. Help Manutiere to fill the table below with the correct repayment period and loan amount in column C and D respectively. So this one is a repayment period and D is a, uh, the loan amount that allows him to make monthly repayment of 35 and not proposed 43. So here we have the details, the loan amount, the terms which were 60, the annual interest 11, and the monthly yeah, charged amount yeah, that way. And uh, so the charged amount here is where he was being charged, right? the 43. Yeah, he was being charged 43,485. 43,485. This is not in percentage, supposed to be a number. So 43,485 per month. That's what he was paying, yeah? 43,485. And now we need to change these and see. Yeah, if we use the this format, that we have here. Yeah, you can use this with the slight change. This one here. Yeah. I paste this. So our monthly our loan amount, the year, so frequency. Here you'll have the number of periods. Number of periods. Number of periods, and we have seen these uh, is five by twelve. Uh, there are 60 of them, annual, annual, and here I'll change this. Yeah, cut this and paste it here. Monthly rate, 
monthly rate and our monthly rate we are taking this we divide by 12 we divide by 12 and this one is supposed to be in a percentage supposed to be in percentage and i will uh, increase uh, the number of uh, decimal that way and here is where we are having the pmt the pmt our rate is this the number of period is 60 and uh, negative is so that it gives us the same amount 43.485 as our monthly repayment so here we shall apply what we call the goal seek yeah we shall apply the concept of goal seeker because uh, when you are using goal seek it will be able now to tell you if we need to pay that five thousand how much shall we be able to borrow how much shall we be able to borrow that will be our objective uh, to vary the loan terms or the loan amount so that it can enable us to pay what that five thousand we shall go to data, the what if analysis, then goal seek. And the goal is this one, the monthly repayment. We need to set it to that 5,000. And by changing what? By changing the initial amount, the loan amount. So the goal is to change the monthly repayment to that 5,000. And by changing the initial amount, and you put OK. And you'll find that if you are to pay uh, that 5,000, then the loan amount should be 16 uh, here. We are supposed to have 16. Huh? The period is the same. The period is 60. The rate is the same, 11. But the amount of repayment now will be different. Huh? It will be that 5,000. So that 5,000 is what we shall be repaying for a loan of 16.09. So the objective was to find the correct repayment period and loan amount. Huh? Payment period is 60. And uh, this one huh? becomes. Uh, the same 1609 and let's know they need you the repayment to increase the period if you are to pay 35 let us see this so we have varied this yeah we now just need to see what if now we change the number of period what will happen we'll just go to data the what if goal sec and we need to change the same value this one what if this one changes to that five thousand but now by changing the number of period, by changing the number of period, the 60, changing the number of period to the 60 months, and we'll find that our period now will change to 81. Huh? It will change to 81, so it will be 81 months, approximately, a period of 81, 81 months, 81 months. And uh, these are now, if we pay less amount for the same loan that we borrowed, then we have to increase the number of period, huh? the number of period, so here, I'll come and change here. So we are having it one, it one at 11% for the same amount of 35. But here the same period of 60 at 11%, 11%, and for the same amount of 11% at the annual rate, that 5,000. So you'll find that for this one, if we are paying 35,000, the total amount that we shall pay by eight to one months, we shall end up paying 2.8. But this other case, the total amount that we shall end up paying for 60 months, we shall pay 2.1 for a loan of 16. So here, remember the loan amount was 2 million. The loan amount was 2 million. So it's upon where to vary. You can decide to take 2 million, pay for a longer duration of eight to one, and have the same repayment of 35, or take 16.09, lesser loan, pay over the same duration of 60 and pay 35,000. So that's how that particular question was supposed to be done. Kindly subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe so that you can be able to reach many, many students. And kindly check on to this channel for the next question 23, 24, for the remaining part 23, 24, and 25, because it will be done in this particular channel. So thank you for your time.